What's up guys, it's Jay here with Supra MK5. We're out here in LA. Happy New Year. What better way to spend the first of the year with a bunch of Supras? Check it out. We're about to go on a cruise from LA to San Pedro. We got my Mark V right here. Mose Mark IV, Mark III. We even got a GTR over here. But he's cool. Another new Supra is Tristan's. More Mark 3s, Mark 4s. More Mark 4s. Ton of Mark 3s this way. Hell yeah. We're over at a little cul de sac in LA. About to head out. Check it out. Damn. Classics right here. Nice, we got Eddie's MK4. This guy has like every single super generation. We'll talk to him in a bit. Oh snap, look at uh, Renee's MK3. Super clean. Yo, what's up, Renee? Yo, what's How's up, going, man? How's it going? Dude, what's what's going on this year, man? We're having a New Year's cruise this year, man. Uh, turned out pretty great. I didn't think a lot of people would come out, but man, it's, we're still expecting a little bit more people, but man, it's just so so far so good, man. And uh, it's gonna be a nice cruise, man, because the streets are lonely. It's New Year's, everybody's still in bed, and uh, we have a nice route going to Palo Verde. So, looking forward to it. Heck yeah, man, dude! Did you just get your car washed or what? Actually, I just got it painted about two months ago. Heck and, yeah, uh, man! So far so good. Everybody's loving it. I love it. And, dude, uh, show us what's under the hood, man. Damn, 2J. Got rid of that 7M. <laughs> I got to, man. I, had, I was looking for a little bit more power, something more uh, reliable. And, uh, you know, I went with the Twins for now just because it's, uh, it's a quicker response. But later in the future, when those give out, go single, you know. Give out, you know, go with a uh, bigger competition out there, you know. But as for now, I'm just enjoying the ride. Right on, man. What else you got um, on your car besides the 2J? I got some uh, TN coilovers on it. Uh, I got some uh, old Han wheels. These are 18s by uh, nine and a half in the front, 18s by ten and a half in the back. Offset is 22s. I got uh, some uh, Federal tires on the back with uh, the RSRRs. So nice and sticky tires, man. All right, so you can do anything for the interior? I know it looks pretty mint. Ah, uh, yeah, it's pretty mint, man. Uh, the only thing I'm missing pretty much is uh, the elbow rest. Other than that, everything's pretty much clean. Yeah, man, I'm just gonna keep it nice and stock. It's just like that simple look. I don't, you know, I'm not going for that too much, uh, you know, racing style or, you know, it's just too add. I want to keep it nice and clean and simple, you know. To me, less is more, but not like your car. Your car speaks a whole different <laughs> yeah. another level, but uh, yeah, your, your, your style of car, I mean, I, I can never get to that, man. It just, it takes the right, you know, the right parts to make it look good. I and mean, you, you got it going on, man. So, you know, you did a great job on that one. And, but if, as for me, I'm gonna go with a, a simple, keep clean look, you know, just nothing, it's just stock looking. Right on. Yeah, now, but, uh, is this your daily driver? No, no, no. This actually was my daily driver for like at least three years. And not until I started adding like the 2J uh, paint job, wheels and tires, that's when I started realizing that I can't, da I can't da daily drive this car anymore because of the fact that I was afraid of getting stolen, you know? So I had to buy me uh, another daily. And the daily I have is just a regular, you know, BMW 5 Series. But this right. one, I keep its garage kept and drive it out on the weekends or something like this, you know, when there's something like a little event going on. That's awesome, man. Dude, yeah. love the car, man. Love the build. Appreciate that, man. Appreciate and, uh, it. And you got like an Instagram, like... Oh, yeah, man. Follow me at a Supra Clean. Supra underscore clean. Awesome. And uh, you'll find me there and uh, I'll follow you guys back. Thanks. Thanks, man. Thanks.
Oh shoot, it's Carlos. What's up, Carlos? Hey, what's up? How's it going, man? Chilling, man. How you been? Pretty good. Great. Hey, what? man, did you bring your car out here or what's up? Oh, man, I got a bad injector. Didn't make it, but I'm here. You know what I mean? Right on. Hey, man, who'd you, who'd you roll with? Oh, I came with my boy Eddie. MK4 over there. Uh, great guy, here, by the way. Oh, heck yeah. He has like all the generations M4, of a Super, huh? Mark 4, Mark 3, 2, and actually two Mark 4s. Right on. Yeah. Hey, so when are we going to see your car, man? Hopefully next cruise, my guy. I'm um, looking forward to getting it on the road today when we get back. Definitely, for sure. Oh, okay. Um, cool. Gotta check the pulse on the injector or pull the injector out. And hopefully that's it, or else we have a chip valve or lost compression on the rings. But that's the worst case scenario. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I'm glad you can make it out here, boy. Yeah, I'm very happy man. to see you guys here today. Yeah, thanks for having us, man. Yeah, man. Heck yeah. All right, man. Have a good cruise. Likewise, bro. All righty, you're about to take off for a cruise. Man. All righty, you're ready to go. Here we're going to take the 110 south to the 105, end up near the beach. So, right now I'm driving in normal mode, so it's really, really quiet. I keep it on this mode like when I'm just, you know, driving around the street and all that. And then, you know, you can put it in sport mode and just kind of opens up the valve. Sounds a lot more, hear it? Hey. Wow, these guys got stopping traffic over here. This is awesome. <laughs> This guy got in traffic over here, holy shit. the beach here let me take a look at the map I don't know where everyone went because we're stuck at a red light and we got a bunch of supers behind me so hopefully we find these guys not gonna lie I have no idea where we're going I'm just hoping to catch up to somebody we're just gonna keep on going straight until we find them okay here goes Tristan A lot of people always ask me, you know, since I came from a stick shift car, I've been driving stick shift and driving on the track for the last, you know, 13, 14 years. And, you know, coming up to this car now, this is my first automatic track car. And people always ask me like, oh, how, how, how does it feel to have the, the flappy paddles? You know, how does it feel to, to drive an automatic? And honestly, this is pretty awesome, you know, like, automatic cars have like really stepped up its game and you know this is 
the ZF transmission, um, you know, like I can just drive normally on the street, real comfortable. And then once I want to, you know, put more control and get on a manual mode, I just switch this over to the left here, and then boom, you see the numbers right in the dash. And I'm just controlling the gear now. Won't shift until I shift it. I can easily downshift. It's perfect. Yeah, everything's all in the paddles. Leave your hands at the steering wheel. All right, so we're stopped in the middle of the road over here. It's like in the center divider. Let's go take a look. Got the wall, getting videos of us. Check it out. I believe we're at Hermosa Beach. Yeah, look at this beautiful view. Beautiful view. I don't know if we're at the end of our cruise, but it's a pretty nice spot. Fifty, sixty Supras out here. Ridiculous. Yeah, you guys gotta check out this view. Get back in here. I saw a cop earlier. He's bound to come back. Alright, we all got a jam. Cop just came. It was bound to happen, but you know, it is what it is. It's right there. Burma. Hell yeah. Tag me. We're moving, sir. Here's the cops. <laughs> They're like party pooper. <laughs> yeah, at least someone enjoyed the show over here. Like, even the classic car owners over here have appreciation. Awesome. On the road next destination should be San Pedro the thank you <laughs> it's awesome all right now we're cruising through Palos Verdes this is where all the ballers live at I never go over here to be very quiet through here. These guys are gonna call it on us. Oh my god, look at this view. Oh my god. Beautiful city. Man, I hope 
hoping we park at that one spot that we just saw, like right on the side. Yes, we are gonna park up there. All right, picture time. Eddie, where's everyone at? They're five minutes from here, man. Five so, minutes, we got, we got kind of tingled up, huh? Yeah, we'll head over there. Why not? They sent me the location, so. Oh, okay, we're all gonna go over there yeah. right now? Huh? All right, sounds good. want to give you a little walk around of my uh, super mk5 here so this car was over at the toyota booth at sema right after that we took it to the top over here just looking <laughs> right after sema we took it over to global time attack uh got second place enthusiast class in the front here we have the apr splitter it's a three inch with a little uh Cusco tow hook. She got the interior. We got it all done up with uh, Cusco bride seats and the Studio RSR roll bar and uh, of course uh, Cusco harnesses. Right now, you know, just for like daily driving, I just use the regular seat belt, which, you know, I still have it bolted on. For the most part, the interior is pretty much stock. You know, I'm going to leave it like that. I got the suede steering wheel. It's an Alcantara. That was done by Jin of Suede It. And then, if you can see in there, there's uh, carbon paddle shifters by Auto, Auto uh, Technic. Way better than stock. It's pretty awesome. Back here, got the APR wing. Also got a wrap by Reptilian with the A90 camo. If you guys recognize that, the Supra was all camoed in this colorway for like six months before the Supra came out. And then down here we got the AFE exhaust. Uh, I have downpipe all the way through, and then of course. Can't forget the wheels and tire combo. It's all uh, Yokohama. So I got the Advan tires, Advan wheels. This is a uh, 19 by 10 in the rear, 19 by nine in the front. And I also did the stud conversion. Motorsports hardware is the one who did it. So I got the extended wheel studs and then the open-ended lug nuts. So yeah, this year we're going to do a lot more track days, more cruises like this, more uh, car meets. So yeah, stay tuned. Alright, so continuing the drive through Palos Verdes, I just got to say, man, this place is beautiful. Like, this is where I want to retire at, you know what I mean? It's so beautiful. And this is like less than an hour, this is about an hour away from my house. You know, that close. And you got nice views, nice city. So now we're gonna head out to get some food. I believe there's like an in and out and like a huge parking lot at the Home Depot. So that's where we're going right now. It's kind of tough getting through these streets and you know, having everyone uh, keep up with each other but you know everyone everyone knows where 
like the endpoints at. So yeah, while we're cruising, I got a couple announcements to make. On the fifth, we're gonna have a track day with this new time attack competition that I started called TRD series. So go check that out. You can find it on Instagram. Oh shoot, there's Supra. That was badass. That nitro yellow Supra. So yeah, like I was saying, this Sunday, January 5th, we're gonna have a track day with Pure Track over at Streets of Willow. Uh, it's gonna be our first event for TRD series. If you wanna check it out, look at uh, uh, TRD series on Instagram, and then we also have a Facebook group. Uh, so be sure to check it out, and you can see more of the details of the event, and you know, it's, just a, it's a really good community, especially if you know, you're just starting out to get your car on the track, or you know, even if you're an advanced driver, you know, there's always uh, room for development on your driving, and you know, that's what I'm all about. Like, I love driving on the track, I love uh, you know, high performance driving, so yeah, it'll be a good time. Also, I haven't posted yet, but we are gonna have uh, we're gonna bring Super Sunday back for 2020. First event's gonna be January 26th. Uh, we're gonna be working with Dead Slow Garage. So we're gonna have a car meet over at their facility. And you know, we'll have food, music, um, you know, get a couple vendors in. I'm trying to get a, trying to get a couple um, e-racing rigs. You know, so you can, you know, play Gran Turismo or Santa Corsa or whatever, and maybe do like a time attack competition on it. You know, see who the fastest driver is and have some prizes for that. So yeah, be sure to check it out on Instagram as well. Supra Sunday. All right, we have come to our final destination, to the In and Out and Home Depot. All right, let's go check it out. Final destination. Here at the Home Depot and in and out. Most of us made it. Damn, look at this Mark II right here. Cobra, bro, we got a line up, baby. Come on. <laughs> Hey, now your car's all hidden, man. I know. This guy... <laughs> <laughs>